Greetings, everyone. This is Sister Crystal here with Let's Talk Classic Hip Hop. And I'm back with an update on the unsolved murder of the legendary Jam Master J. Um, on Sunday, August 16th, 2020, after nearly 18 years, the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York unsealed a criminal indictment alleging that Carl Jordan Jr., age 36, and Ronald Washington, age 56, conspired to kill Jam Master J in retaliation for a dispute. Carl Jordan Jr., age 36, was arrested Sunday, August 16th, 2020, and pleaded not guilty in a court appearance via teleconference on Monday afternoon. Ronald Washington, age 56, is in federal custody on unrelated charges. Okay, now for just a brief note on the meaning of unsealed. Now, I'm not an attorney, but from my research, my understanding is when a grand jury hands down an indictment, Generally, those documents are unsealed. In this case, in the case of Jam Master J, whose real name is Jason Mizell, in his murder case, the documents were sealed because there were multiple defendants that they were looking at. And the detectives or the people that's in, responsible for doing the work in this case, they did not want to run the risk of releasing a suspect too soon and run the risk of having the other possible suspects scatter away and, and they have the they don't have the opportunity to apprehend those multiple defendants. And so because of that, the decision was made to seal the documents until now. So they just wanted to make sure that they gather as much information as they could before handing out an indictment. So going back into 2002, and I will say the elephant in the room, there's some other stuff that came out, but I'm, I'm not going to get into that. Just really as a fan of Jam Master J in particular, but Run DMC. So I was a fan of both Jam Master J as a DJ and Jam Master J as part of the group Run DMC. So I'm sitting here as a fan, a grieving fan. And I remember grieving back in 2002. My heart has a little bit of joy knowing that some suspects are possibly going to pay for this crime. So I am glad that they at least have suspect and, and maybe in these other unsolved murders, Hopefully uh, they'll have suspects for them too and those suspects will be apprehended. Jam Master J was murdered on October 30th, 2002 at his recording studio. I believe it was called 24-7 Recording Studios. Jam Master J had produced a lot of artists, including but not limited to the Afros, um, he even um, produced an R&B group called The Family and most notably the rap group Onyx with their hit Slam. So that night, and first of all, it was clear that it was someone that Jam Master J was familiar with because the person or persons were buzzed into the building. And so from what I can remember, a man wearing a black sweatsuit appeared and after embracing Mizell, pulled out a 40 caliber pistol and opened fire. And it said the first round missed Mizell and it hit another performer. But then it said the second bullet fired from point blank range entered the left side of Jam Master J's head and then the shooter vanished. And um, the speculation back then was that it was in retaliation for a debt that Jam Master J allegedly owed. So that was the only thing that had came out back in 2002. Okay, so I'm doing the math. Ronald Washington 
is 56 and Carl Jordan Jr. is 36. And I'm trying to do the math real quick in my head. And I'm like, was Carl Jordan Jr. even an adult back then? Ronald Washington was 38 and Carl Jordan Jr. was 18 back in 2002. And Jam Master J, who was murdered, was only 37 years young. And so fast forward to August 2020, Daryl DMC McDaniels released this statement. Although this latest news opens up a lot of painful memories for all of us who knew and loved Jam Master J, I'm relieved to hear that two suspects have been arrested and charged with his murder. It's been a difficult 18 years not having him around while knowing that his murderers were not giving up and working to bring justice for Jay. I realize this is a first step in the judicial process, but I hope Jay can finally rest in peace. My love to Jay's wife, Terry, his sons, his family, his friends, and all of his fans. Hashtag JMJ forever. And that was um, accredited to Daryl DMC McDaniels in a statement obtained by um, Spin. I think it's Spin Magazine or something like that. I also want to note that um, I just learned that Jam Master J also has a daughter who was born in 1992. So um, I did not know that Jam Master J had a daughter until a couple of days ago while I was doing research for this. So Jam Master J has three sons and a daughter. So I just wanted to put that out there. Also, in another statement from the Mizell family, first and foremost, we want to thank everyone who has reached out in support of our family today. We appreciate your kind thoughts and words. Upon hearing this news, we have mixed emotions. We truly hope that these indictments are a solid step towards justice being served in the murder of Jay. We realize that there are other families out there who have lingering pain, who continue to wait for their own closure, and we pray that this case gives them hope. In spite of all the tragedies we've seen this year alone, we take comfort in our family, our faith, and in time's ability to heal all. We can only hope that this news brings awareness to the fact that black lives do matter. We ask that everyone please respect our family's privacy as this case moves forward through the judicial system. Thank you. And in 2004, Jam Master J's mother, Connie Mizell Perry, stated in an interview with the Associated Press that she believed that Jam Master J had no obvious enemies. She stated, quote, I never dreamed anyone would want to kill him. And her theory was that his assailant was someone he knew very well. She also believes that the killer at large must be suffering. She stated, quote, they're not free right now. Whoever did this is leading a troubled life. And she went on to state one of her, her favorite song from Run DMC called Pause. It goes, pause. If you did it, admit it. Next time you think of doing a crime, pause and remember this rhyme. And so... I'm just hoping that with the arrest of these two suspects that uh, justice will come to Jam Master J's family. This is Sister Crystal with Let's Talk Classic Hip Hop. Just feel free to let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, take care.